Dear Investor, Edelweiss Private Wealth Management is pleased to present you the latest issue of Investment Strategy Report for July 2019. Let's take a look at key highlights of June 2019. In the annual G20 summit, which happened on 28th-29th June, US President Trump has agreed with Chinese President Xi Jinping to restart trade talks. US will now hold off on new tariffs and will allow Huawei to again buy US products. FOMC in its last meeting on 19th June held the US interest rate at 2.25 to 2.5%. However, Fed is likely to trim interest rates with consensus inching towards 50 basis points rate cut in this year itself, considering increased risks to global growth. Oil prices have maintained a stable position amid concerns of US Iran tensions and weak global demand. The slowdown in global trade has prompted IEA to cut its 2019 forecast for worldwide oil demand growth for second straight month in June. In India, cumulative rainfall till 26 June is below long period average by 36%. However, IMD believes that monsoon will revive in the coming months and will lessen the cumulative deficit to 4% by September. In the upcoming budget, the government is expected to maintain a balance between fiscal deficit target of 3.4% and boosting growth. According to street expectations, much needed reforms in land, labor and tax will get a push. Financial year 19 trailing diluted EPS from continued operations for Nifty stood at INR 488. In financial year 20, EPS is expected to rise by 29% to INR 630. The revival in earnings in financial year 20 will be spurred by a boost to nominal GDP as borrowing costs are expected to go down. Our mutual funds activity tracker reveals that private banks were main areas of interest for MF buying in last four months, while NBFC sector saw the highest sell-offs by MFs. Decline in quantum of provisioning and smooth resolutions under IBC would spur the earnings recovery in public sector banks. Our proprietary relative valuation indicator is suggesting to go overweight on mid caps as they seem to be better valued as compared to large caps. We believe that a rise in earnings brought about by PSB profits recovery would imply an impressive PAT growth in mid cap index in financial year 20. In light of the easier liquidity situation, RBI has reduced the OMO purchases quantum. OMO purchases of INR 15000 crore were done in June. We expect RBI to keep active intervention in the bond markets to keep liquidity in a slight surplus. According to RBI calculations, scheduled commercial banks have passed benefit of around 21 basis points to their clients out of the 50 basis points cut prior to the MPC meeting of June 2019. This implies that there is large scope for further monetary transmission which would resurrect the demand side of the economy. Since headline inflation has been hovering around long term target of 4%, markets are expecting RBI to cut rates by further 25 basis points in financial year 20. We recommend investors to focus on hold to maturity solutions to lock in currently available attractive yields in corporate bonds and SDLs. Clients with allocation to duration should continue to hold to benefit from likely fall in the interest rates.